Once you open a bottle of sparkling wine, how long do you have until it finally goes flat? And then once it's flat, is it still good to drink? Well, let's find out. So I have in my hands a bottle of sparkling wine. This is from the Saratoga Sparkling Company. It's their Blanc version. And this $16.95 bottle is made actually by Galway Rock Winery. They're part of the Hudson Valley Wine Trail. So there's a lot of variables that determine how long it takes for a bottle of sparkling wine to go flat. In particular, the wine itself. Every wine has a different level of effervescence. Second is going to be the temperature at which we keep the wine after we pour it. We're going to keep our wine at room temperature. And lastly, it also depends upon the type of glass that you put it into. And so we're going to pour this wine into a Pinot Noir glass with a lot of surface area. So I have two glasses. I have the Pinot glass that I already mentioned before. And then for comparison, I also did bring out a sparkling wine flute. Well, right off the bat, my initial impression of the wine itself is it's rather disappointing, actually. I, I'm not real impressed with the lack of bubbles with, a, with this sparkling wine. When I open a sparkling wine, I want bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles make wine happy, and sparkling wines are usually drunk for happy occasions. And uh, although, you know, as, I've, as we've said before on our channel, we like to drink sparkling wines for any occasion. Well, you know, generally speaking, you'll want to have bubbles in your glass and they're already gone. Welcome back. Well, it's been six hours now since I opened the bottle and poured the two glasses of wine. I actually went um, and evaluated the bottle, the uh, glasses after two hours and saw that there still was a small stream of bubbles in the flute. There was nothing in the in the Pinot glass. So I waited a couple more hours and at this point pretty much everything is is done effervescing. Um, the taste though it has, has changed considerably since I tasted it earlier in the wine cellar. So you, you still you still get the the typical honey and apricot flavors that you expect from Vignol, but at the tail end there is a, a, a decent hint of sour green apple. It's 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 different. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or or if I don't like it, but it makes it different. So that that is nice. Um, I'm not really sold on the sparkling wine format for Vignol, but that's just my opinion. I, I you know Vignol is 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 definitely well known for being a late harvest style wine as well as well as a flat wine but but not sparkling however the experiment was how long does it take for a sparkling wine to go flat and can you still drink it and and the answer is for this particular one i think the effervescence value was quite low so right off the bat you know it was getting flat pretty quickly um, but after four to six hours it's pretty much flat can you still drink it is it still a good wine to drink Absolutely, and this this goes across the board for any sparkling wine. You know, when the if you have a, a a party and everyone's over and and there's half a bottle of sparkling wine left over, if you want, put it back in your fridge and you can have it as a flat wine the next day, and it's good to drink. So, with that being said, I am going to finish the last of this glass. I'm David. This is Wine Forecaster.